In this app, we can take pictures of biscuits, uh, which will be sent to our database and should return with the result of how well it's been cooked. And in the case of this digestive, it, it should return with a with a positive result. You know, since this is digestive straight out of the pack, it does take some time, depending on your internet connection. Ah, there we go. So it's uh, yeah, not burnt. So a positive result from that. Um, I'll just take a picture of a a burnt digestive to show you how well it works as well with that. Um, and on the left, you can uh, choose your own predictions, uh, which will be used to train the, the model. So if you have a biscuit or cookie that doesn't work, ah, and that's also burnt, uh, that doesn't work with that, you can train them. So in, in this case, for instance, we have a Jaffa cake, uh, which the model hasn't been trained on. But um, what we can do is... Uh, choose our own prediction and just send that to the database. And so even though it'll, it'll return with a, a burnt result, um, these images will be used to to train the model. And so later down the line, you can accurately get uh, a view on how well it's been baked. Uh, you can also choose images from your gallery. Um, so in this case, well, there we go, it's also not burnt. Um, and, uh, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll move on to the Julie our database, and I'll show you from there. So here we are on Julie, and uh, it'll, if you go in the image recognition project, uh, you'll see that these are the batches that we wrote. So obviously we rewrote the video batch, for our project and um, so you can organize your biscuits based on different batches that you you cook them or whatever way that you like to and so these are the images that we've just taken with the phone and it's all stored here you can see that on the top it's labeled with its um, the predictions that you uh, inputted so that you can use it to train the model and on the table on the right it shows the prediction that the model itself brought about so obviously you can see that the first cookie is shown as not burnt whereas the jaffa cake even though it is isn't burnt is shown as burnt because it the model isn't properly trained for it um but as with anything you know as we've been able to train just you know, regular digestive biscuits, we should be able to do the same with things like Jaffa 